My name is Alexa Graybell, and I am a senior in Eastern class of 2019. It is an honor to be here today speaking on behalf of the teachers, administrators, and students of Eastern Regional High School. I am inspired by the efforts of our community to come together and make this memorial a reality on the 50th anniversary of Bauer's death. Good morning. Happy Veterans Day to all of you. On this, on the memorial up there, it reads, in memory, Joseph E. Lau, Captain First Class, United States Marine, gives for New Jersey. Born December 19, 1948. Killed in action May 31, 1968. Jay was a member of the first graduating class of Eastern Regional High School in 1967. He was exempt from the draft, but volunteered to serve in Vietnam. 23 days after the deployment to Vietnam, he was killed in combat. He was 19 years old. War is a tragedy, what might have been. December 5 deaths. Good morning. Uh, my name's Sean, Sean Huber. I'm uh, Joey's nephew. You guys know him as Jay. Uh, never met him. Heard a lot of great stories uh, about him, uh, of course, but uh, I don't have anything prepared uh, this morning. Unfortunately, I did not know I'd be speaking, but this is what you guys in high school, I guess, would call an extemporaneous uh, speech. Uh, in any event, uh, I think the best thing to say simply is thank you uh, on behalf of the Lauer family for the oath. Efforts made for my uncle, who I really never met, but he's a much better man than I'd ever be, and I wish I had a chance to meet him. Thank you. Good morning, and happy Veterans Day. My name is Sean O'Connor, and I'm here on behalf of Congressman Donald Norcross. We have a proclamation to present today. <coughs> the first congressional district of the great state of New Jersey honors Eastern Regional High School for its dedication of the new Vietnam War Memorial honoring the late Joseph E. Lauer. Whereas the memorial honors Marine Private First Class Joseph J. E. Lauer, who was a member of the first graduating class of Eastern Regional High School in 1967 and volunteered to serve in the United States Marine Corps even though he was exempt from the draft. And whereas he believed in the war effort and the country during a time period when many lost faith and the effectiveness of government joining the Army and ultimately giving his life while serving his nation 23 days after his deployment to Vietnam when he was killed during an ambush in Quang Tri Province on May 31st, 1968, and the day after Memorial Day at the age of 19. And whereas Eastern Regional's Board of Education gave two alumni the go-ahead to pursue this project, and the design resulted from a competition among students and features an engraved granite memorial with Lauer's battle dress photo and incorporates a smaller granite memorial to the victims of the September 11th terrorist attack. Therefore, be it known, the undersigned member of the United States Congress, the Honorable Donald Norcross of the 1st Congressional District of the State of New Jersey, hereby honors Eastern Regional High School for its dedication of the Vietnam War Memorial honoring the late Joseph J. E. Lauer. November 12, 2018, the Honorable Donald, <clears throat> Donald Norcross. And it was breathtaking. This history, high school has been with us from the beginning, and I carry Jerry in my heart always. But I'll tell you, I look at his picture, and he is young. <laughs> and, it's, and that's the way you remember him. On behalf of Joseph E. Lauer Memorial, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to everyone who took the time to come today. To those of you who served, thank you. Today is a very special day in that it coincides with Veterans Day and the dedication of the memorial for Joe. Joe had more street names than uh, a lot of the kids today, okay? He was only 19 years old and is still the only Eastern alum to be killed in combat while serving in the United States military. This memorial was not a war memorial. Let's make that clear. This memorial is dedicated to the life and service of PFC Joseph E. Lauer, United States 